All right. Did everybody watch that football game last night? That was crazy, wasn't it? Of course, I did the break for part of it. And then, you know what? I'm so stupid. I forgot, I forgot to turn it back on, and I missed pretty much all of it. But I did go back and watch the highlights. Man alive. That was quite some ending, wasn't it? I don't know about those Ravens. Okay, so we have got a couple of different breaks tonight. One is uh, our 10 box case of Leaf Autograph Mini Helmets. And the other one is a little flawless baseball. So as we typically do, I'm going to hit the high points of some info here before we actually get started ripping. So let's get going with that. What do you say? So first up, feedback. It is automated on eBay. And really, here's what that means to you. You don't have to wait on me to find time to leave feedback. I know. Isn't that great? Because I like have no free time, usually. Uh, but anytime that you leave positive feedback for me, you are instantly going to get positive feedback in return. And the other thing there is a big thank you. I do appreciate you being here with me, bidding and breaking and hanging out. And hopefully somebody will chat with me and talk to me tonight, too. But Either way, I'm glad to have you here tonight. This is what it looks like in the days ahead. So there's a new release tomorrow. It has alternately been called Hoops Hybrid. It's been called Hoops Premium Stock. I've seen it, you know, called different things. Whatever you want to call it, it is a high-end version of Hoops. And it comes out tomorrow, and we're going to break it by the half case. They are loose boxes from shared cases. On Thursday night, it's going to be TriStar Game Day Greats Autograph Football Jerseys by the full case, and I think that's the last case I have of that. And then we will do another case of Leaf Autograph Mini Football Helmets, and I think it's the last case I have of those as well. When we get to Friday, we have one more new release, and that is Immaculate Football. We're going to be breaking a three-box half-case break of that. Once again, loose boxes from shared cases. And then we will be breaking a sixth and final case of Leaf Ultimate Draft Baseball. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, all will be off nights. So here's what you need to know about what we're working on tonight. So the mini helmets, if you are lucky enough to pull one of those, it's going to ship out the door to you sometime within the next seven days. Now, I'm fairly caught up right now, so I'm going to try to get it out as quickly as possible because the mail is taking just this side of forever. So uh, that's the deal. If you do not hit in the mini helmet break, here's what happens. You are entitled to a consolation card. That's simply a loose used random trading card for your team. Can be from any year, any series. Typically, I hang on to it and send it with your next package when there are free shipping breaks like this one. However, if you want it sent sooner by itself, you only need to send me a message on eBay letting me know that and I will take care of it for you. Paid shipping break tonight is Flawless Baseball. Should be out the door by Friday. As always, that's plus or minus a day, but I'm hopeful that I can actually get it out to you faster than Friday. I don't think it would be later than that. If you get skunked in Flawless, your consolation card or cards would ship out when the rest of the break goes out the door because technically that would be your next package since it's paid shipping break. Now we're all paid up for mini helmets, so let's get rolling with those first. A 10 box case. 2020 Leaf Autograph Mini Football Helmets, it's full case break, break number five, ended tonight on eBay, the same night that we are breaking it, which is Tuesday night, the 15th of December, believe it or not, halfway through the month and almost done with the year. Team names, of course, can be found on one side, and the eBay user ID of each winning bidder is up in lights there across from their team. And, of course, if you are here for Flawless Baseball, Hang tight. Uh, you're going to get a chance to see your name up there shortly. And the mini helmets will probably take us about 10 minutes, give or take a couple of minutes. And once we finish them, we will roll right into Flawless. Last little thing I'm doing here, I am making your background blurry. That is quite on purpose. So please don't be concerned by that. That is um, what I mean to do here. If I can get it just right, that is. And that way we don't have to worry about zooming in and out. Yay. Hi, James. You need the 49ers in here? All right. Well, let's do our best. As you might imagine, this is a rather big box that holds 10 mini helmets. Too big to fit on my table. So I'm going to cut it open down here and then set our mini helmets up there. All 
All right. I know it's a weird shaped case too, so you can't even exactly like get them out of there. Just, <laughs> I mean, you can get them out of there, obviously, but not as efficiently as if the box were somehow shaped differently. But hey, it's all good. Okay, let me get this big case out of the way. <clears throat> So here is what you need to know about these. If we find one, <coughs> excuse me, that is a collegiate helmet, it's going to go to their current team if they are an active player, and it will go to the team they played for the longest if it's a retired player. Again, that's only with the collegiate signed helmets. Obviously, if it's signed on a pro helmet, it's going to go to the team that we see there on the helmet itself. So that's how all this fun stuff is going to work. Jeff is here. Jeff, you need Lions. You want a Barry Sanders mini helmet. All right. Well, I'm trying to pull this off, and I guess it doesn't want to peel off, so we'll try to cut it. And, of course, it doesn't want to be cut either, so... Alrighty then, I guess we'll just tear it like that. <laughs> Some days things just don't want to cooperate. <clears throat> Sorry, my asthma's bad tonight. We have got a Drew Pearson first out. Dallas Cowboys with the Hail Mary inscription on it. Beckett authenticated. We can see the sticker on the back. And it looks like our paper COA is down in there. Some kind of paper COA is down in there. We'll assume it's Beckett, anyway. And the Hulkster is here looking for Vikings helmets. All right. James said, does the TriStar Platinum Mini have a better selection? How many, how many Fred Deans does one person need? <laughs> you know, the Platinums, we only opened uh, a case or two of those out of Series 1. And it did have some different players in it. But it also had some duplication in it. So... It's kind of hard to say. Like so much of this stuff, it's really a lot of luck of the draw. Bob Greasy, Dolphins. And there is our Beckett COA paper. And on the flip side there, our Beckett sticker. Or, yeah, sticker. We'd already seen the paper. I had to think about that a minute. <laughs> I know, right? T. Cassidy's here. Hi, T. Cassidy. Looking for Washington. All right, the good old Washington football team. Can't wait for them to decide on a new nickname. Oh, that's going to make somebody awfully happy, and it's going to make somebody else really mad because they emailed me tonight and said they got beat out on the Chargers and said, if you're going to pull a Herbert, you better wait until Thursday. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble now because there he is. But it's going to make the Chargers owner really happy. Beckett authenticated by sticker and paper. Justin Herbert, Chargers. I don't know. Matthew's asking if it's time for him to make his call again last night, tonight. So last night, was it last night? I guess it was. Matthew was just, he'd say, well, or maybe it was Friday night. He's like, well, now it's time for us to hit or me to hit blah, blah, blah. And like it would come out. <laughs> and he did it again. He did it. We had a couple of breaks and it worked every time he would say, I think now's the time that such and such is going to show up. And it did. It was crazy. Another one for Dallas, it's Mel Renfro and Beckett authenticated by sticker and paper certificate inside. So a pair for the Cowboys. Ah, oh, Nick is happy because he must have that Justin Herbert must be going to you, Nick. So he's very happy about that. I don't blame you. It's a nice hit. Nice, nice. Ooh, Carolina, the Panthers. Got some DJ Moore action here for the Carolina Panthers. Beckett sticker and Beckett paper COA, both present and accounted for. So we are halfway through with a pair of Cowboys, a Dolphin, a Charger, and a Panther. 
Oh, yeah, you're right, Matthew. It was the Herbert jersey last night. Isn't that awful? All my days blend into one. I can't even think what comes out of what night. And speaking of how many Fred Deans does a person need, here he is again, although sometimes we see him as a Niner tonight. He's a Charger. So, uh, Chargers, Hall of Fame inscription, and Beckett authenticated by sticker and paper. So now we're a pair for the Cowboys, a pair for the Chargers, one Panther, one Dolphin. Matthew says, now it's Seattle Seahawk time. All right, he's putting that mojo magic out there. Of course, Matthew also told us last night he had bought a personal box of uh, NT Collegiate and managed to pull Anthony Edwards out of that. So he's been on fire for two nights, although he missed that one. That one came out for the Raiders. You've got Tim Brown for the Las Vegas Raiders. It is Beckett authenticated. Looks like that might also be a player hologram authentication sticker. And there's our Beckett paper down inside. We have seven opened and three to go. Let's see if I can't peel that little. Sometimes the little stickers will just peel right off of there, and other times they really don't. Ah, these guys, they beat my Steelers into the ground. The Buffalo Bills. It is Billy Shaw and Beckett sticker. And Beckett paper hanging out way back there in the back, but it's present and accounted for. Two left. Look at that one. <laughs> Look at the wrapper on that one. Like, what happened on it? <laughs> That's so bizarre. If you ever had a hold of the heat gun or whatever they use to shrink that wrap or however it works, they mess, they mess that one up. But what's inside is worth it. Woohoo! Because it's Joe Montana for the 49ers. How about that, Joe Montana and a Beckett authenticated sticker. And our paper's in there. It's kind of stuck, but you can see it in there. And I believe that might be one somebody hit me up for, too, in messages. In fact, that might be. Is that the one that you said you wanted? Not Don't hit the Chargers until Thursday because you lost out on them, but because you had the 49ers to hit the Montana tonight. Is that right? Did I do that right? <laughs> I don't know. I get confused, but I think somebody did ask for the Montana specifically tonight. Wow, lots of two-team stuff happening. we got another Raider, and this one goes to Ray Guy. Beckett authenticated by sticker and paper. So we ended up with a pair of Raiders, a pair of Chargers, a pair of Cowboys, and then Panther, Dolphin, Niner, Bill. Oh, yeah, James, it was you. Okay, so see, it did work out for you. We did hit the Herbert, which I know you didn't want me to hit. <laughs> but we also hit your Joe Montana, which you did want me to hit. So there you go. Worked out all right in the end, I guess. So we'll recap it as I get them back in the boxes. That was 49ers and the Montana. The Raiders came up with Ray Guy. And then I have another Raider here for Tim Brown. The Buffalo Bills hit a Billy Shaw. Carolina Panthers and DJ Moore. Surprising a Steeler didn't hit. Usually the Steelers hit a lot in these things, but no Steelers tonight, huh? Bob Greasy for the Dolphins. Then we're going to come up here to the Cowboys. One for Mel Renfro. And one for Drew Pearson. So a pair of Cowboys. And then we wrap it up with a pair of Chargers. The ever-present Fred Dean. Followed by the one that makes you really happy, Justin Herbert. All right, so that's our mini helmet break and recap. Give me one moment here. I need to get these mini helmets out of my line of fire. And then I will come right back with you and we'll get moving on flawless. 
I tell you what, while I'm doing that, let's go ahead whoops, and let you take a look at the shipping info for those of you who might have missed it earlier. And also, let me see if we're paid up or not. Yeah, we got paid up in the meantime. All right, so good. I'll be right back. Let me get the many helmets moved and uh, then we'll get underway with Flawless. All right, let me grab the flawless and then we're going to be good to go. <coughs> okay, so if you hit one of those mini helmets, it's going to be out the door sometime within the next seven days, probably sooner rather than later. Obviously, I'm trying to hustle and get everything out the door because the mail's taking forever. If you were in the mini helmet break and you didn't hit consolation card, typically sent with your next package just because it is a free shipping break. If you want it sent sooner, hit me up and let me know. I'll take care of it for you. Flawless that we're about to start should be out the door uh, probably Friday. As always, plus or minus a day, but honestly, maybe sooner than Friday, I hope. If you get skunked in that one, I will send your consolation card or cards out when the rest of the break ships. Because technically, that would be your next package. So that's the way we always do our paid shipping breaks. So it is a one box break, which is a half case of 2020 Flawless Baseball. Ended tonight on eBay, same night we're breaking it, Tuesday night, the 15th of December. And Hunter1522 is all over this one. He has got the vast majority of the teams in here. Not all of them, but a lot of them. So it's, I mean, it's conceivable that Hunter 1522 could just like get the whole case of cards. You never know. We're going to find out, aren't we? We're going to find out who gets it here in a hot second. And good old Flawless. This is the last box of this that I have on hand. I haven't seen my distributors having extra of it available for sale either, but I do have an eye out for it. So if I come across some more at any kind of even remotely reasonable price, we would probably try to order it again. So, Chadillac, the 10 box mini did just break and we just recapped it. But if you tell me who you had, we can tell you who won. Uh, or I can tell you if they won or not. If you can tell me, type in there who you had, Chadillac. And John Dryden says, you need a Colorado Rocky out of here. Okay, well, we will try to find you a Colorado Rocky. And there's our little keys and the rest of that's all. I'm trying to show you the rest. Well, I can't, I can't get it now. You can see it's all empty. I don't know. I couldn't get it at the right angle. It was weird. <laughs> For a second, I could not get it to uh, cooperate with me exactly. Okie dokie, let's see what fabulousness awaits us here in Flawless. Oh, I need one regular card sleeve. Hang on one second. I have all thick sitting here and I forgot that we have that blockchain redemption and it needs a slightly different one. It needs a regular sleeve. So our blockchain redemption, of course, this means it is a digital only card. There's... Um, no, no, um, pay, or what am I trying to say? Physical card to go with it. It is just digital. And this is Walker, Bueller, and Clayton Kershaw. So that's going to be the Dodgers. Blockchain, Dual Signatures, Emerald is our card set. We'll go to the Panini website. Some of the products list those things and say what they will be digitally numbered to. Some of them do not. But we'll put it up there in housekeeping. Go check it out afterwards. All right. Um, Chad Lack, you had Cincinnati Bengals. No, we did not hit any Bengals, I'm sorry to say. Jay Allen, you need the Phillies and the Royals. Okay. And Matthew said started earlier tonight. Oh, no, we didn't start earlier tonight. We started on time. We started at 9, didn't we? Yeah, I didn't start early, did I? <laughs> I don't think so. 
Number to 25, there is Jordan Alvarez for the Astros. Now, it's always possible that my clock and your clock don't align perfectly, but I wouldn't be more than a minute or two fast or slow based on my clock and anybody else's, I wouldn't think. Then I have a Ty Cobb, and it is numbered to 15. It's the Tigers, and that's a piece of baseball bat. <clears throat> Excuse me, a piece of baseball bat right there. And it is game used, it says on the back. So Tigers with the Ty Cobb. The Texas Rangers are out next with Brock Burke, and that is numbered to seven. A good-looking group of relics there. I like that. Oh, Matthew, you meant you're starting earlier on calling your players. I got you. Chad Lack, no, no Saints tonight either. I'm so sorry. And you're looking for Doc Gooden? All right, I'm going to work on Doc Gooden for you, Matthew. But in the meantime, I've got an Atlanta Brave with Austin Riley and number 225. Of course, uh, another nice looking on card autograph and relic. I think everything's been on card thus far. Jesus Lazardo, that is the Oakland A's, and it is numbered to seven. Everything should be on card in a product with this price point, I'll tell you that, but they're not always, believe it or not. Next up, Willie McGee, St. Louis Cardinals. That's number to three. That's a nice little hit. Don't see Willie too much. Another one for Atlanta, the Braves with Ozzy, Ozzy Albies, number 215. One of the exciting young players for the Braves, one of many exciting young players for the Braves. And then this little beauty here, Reggie Jackson, digging that too. Yankees, number 215 with the Reggie Jackson. Now we got a couple of things going on back here. First, this little card that says, hey, that little diamond chip is real, and it's not a blood diamond, etc. It's so tiny you can barely see it, but it is in there. So, you know, trying to get a bag for it. I'll hold it up there in a second. Sorry, I was reaching. And that is also the Yankees. It is numbered to 10, and Glaber Torres taking our little diamond chip card tonight. And our next card is, I guess, too thick to even be encased in something like that because they've got it in this little box, which they have taped together in a regular and with just regular old Scotch tape. So, not real fond of that. Or actually, I take that back. It does have the flawless imprint on it, but still, I would have perhaps preferred that to be like a painter's tape or something to whatever we have used here. But that's all right. We'll get it off of there eventually. Maybe. Also, this little box isn't super sturdy. I'm just not digging this whole setup. And I can't get in there. Like, I literally, I literally cannot get through that little tiny piece of stupid tape on the side. What is up? We'll just break it open. Not the box. I didn't break the box. Just the tape, I meant. There. That was a lot of work to get to this. And that is a good-looking relic and a nice hit for the Blue Jays with the Beau Bichette, numbered 220. And that takes the place, of course, of what would have been our second encased card is, uh, I guess, a little too thick to go in a one-touch, apparently. So they've got it in this little box, and I'm going to put it back in that little box, but I do it a little differently in that I'm putting that sleeve there on top and bottom of it and I will also tape it closed with some painter's tape and we'll also probably have to wrap that thing in about 50 layers of bubble wrap because that little box is in my opinion not very strong. I've got other hard boxes that I would prefer to that but since that one's got the flaw of the sticker on it we'll have to stick with it. Okay let's go look this up see if we can figure out what if anything that little bad boy there is numbered to. So let me wander over here and bring you with me and see what we can see if this if they have the numbering in here or not. So it's BC Dual Signatures Emerald. The card number is five. And yeah, it will be digitally numbered to five for the Dodgers. So too bad those aren't real, huh? <laughs> 
instead of just being an all digital card if that was a real card boy that would be a super nice hit wouldn't it I know Panini wants it all to go digital, but no, nah, that's not going to happen in my lifetime. We all like to hold on to stuff. Jay Allen is out of here. Well, good night, Jay Allen. Oh, Blake said that wasn't supposed to be opened. Oh, well, I opened it. I don't know why it wasn't supposed to be opened, but I did open it. So, uh-oh, Blue Jays, if that wasn't supposed to be opened, I did not know that. Sorry, I've never pulled one like that before, so... Sorry about that, Blue Jays, that I opened it. Um, if you, if that messes you up, I can um, refund you on it uh, for the Blue Jays spot and and keep it. If you, um, if that messes up, whoever's got the Blue Jays, I did not know that wasn't supposed to be open, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's my bad. So if you've got the Toronto Blue Jays and you don't want that because I opened it, which would be entirely 100% my mistake, I will gladly refund you for the Blue Jays spot and um, just keep the card if you if you don't want it because I didn't know that. So I apologize. The Yankees, numbered to 15, Reggie Jackson. That is the Atlanta Braves, numbered to 15, Ozzy Albies. That is number two, three, Willie McGee and the St. Louis Cardinals. I also don't know if it's not supposed to be open, why they would put it in a box with that much room, because that card rolls around in that box. Like, that's not even a safe way to keep that permanently. That's the other reason I wouldn't think that that was the case, but I'm sure you're right. Number two, seven, Jesus Lazardo and the Oakland A's. For the Dodgers, I have got a BC Dual Signature Emerald Blockchain Digital Only card, numbered digitally to five. Austin Riley for the Atlanta Braves. It is numbered to 25. Numbered to seven, there's Brock Burke and the Texas Rangers. Then we have got Ty Cobb, numbered to 15. And that's going to the Detroit Tigers. Jordan Alvarez, it's number 25, going to the Houston Astros. Glaber Torres, number 10 for the Yankees. And then this one, which apparently I shouldn't have cut the sticker on. I should have known better than that, I'm sure. I've been doing this for years, but I swear to you, I've never pulled one out of Flawless in a box like this in all these years that I remember. And I just didn't even think about it because it doesn't look safe in there to me. But anyway, it is number 20. It's Beau Bichette. It's the Toronto Blue Jays. And once again, if you have the Blue Jays tonight and, and it's problematic that I cut that sticker, I totally understand. I will gladly refund you for the spot and, and you don't have to take the card uh, if you prefer because for sure I, you know, opened it, obviously. So, okay, guys, that is the break and the recap. What I will do next is um, put up shipping information again and what's breaking in the days ahead. If you missed any of that earlier, we will uh, put it up here again for you right now. You're going to get another chance to take a look at it and get the info that uh, you might, might have missed earlier. Well, maybe we are if I can get the thing to cooperate with me. So the mini helmets, if you hit one, you can expect it to be out the door and on the way to you sometime within the next seven days. Free shipping stuff is always just generically projected for a seven-day window. I'm going to try to get it out to you sooner than that, of course, but please keep in mind, packages are taking an inordinate amount of time right now. Some of them are arriving on time. Many of them are not. Some of them are taking as much as three and four weeks to get there, so please be aware of that. If you did not hit in the mini helmet break, you are still entitled to a consolation card, which I would typically hold and send with your next package. But if you want it sent sooner by itself, just send me a message and let me know and I will get that taken care of for you. And flawless, of course, our paid shipping break, that's going to be out the door approximately Friday, as always, plus or minus a day. And if you got skunked in flawless and did not pull a card, you are still going to get a package in the mail. It will have consolation card or cards in it, and it will ship out to you in the rest of the break going out. So, 
All right, here is what is coming up. It is uh, Hoops Hybrid, and that is a half case break tomorrow night. That is a new release product. They are loose boxes from a shared case. On Thursday night, we are looking at a case of game day greats autographed football jerseys and a 10 box case of Leaf autographed mini football helmets. On Friday, it's Immaculate Football. That's a new release product. We're going to open a three-box half-case break of that. Loose boxes from shared cases. And a 12-box case of Leaf Ultimate Draft Baseball. On Saturday, Sunday, and Monday night, those will all be off nights. So that's how we are um, shaking, uh, shaping up in the nights ahead. So that is, uh, I guess, it for us tonight. And uh, if you're the owner of the Blue Jays, I'm going to shoot you over a message here when we wrap up uh, about opening that case on your Bichette. So we'll talk more about that by eBay messages if you have the Blue Jays tonight. So thank you, everyone, for being here. I appreciate it very much. I hope you have a great night ahead. If I don't see you tomorrow night for our new release, I hope I will see you again soon. In the meantime, Stay safe and happy and healthy, and we'll be back tomorrow. Bye now.